around us. If somebody asks you to categorize above materials, you would probably say pencil, eraser, chalk pieces or solids, water, ink, various colored juices are liquids and inflated balloons, smoke of the incense stick are in a gaseous state. Let us see some interesting properties of the matter in different states. We will start with an empty syringe. We will put some chalk pieces in it and press the piston harder. You would see the piston after muscle force, the chalk pieces are allowed to break down. They break down in small pieces in a powdered form. You would see how this powdered pieces are being put back in the syringe. Repeat the same for the liquids. We will close the nozzle and pour a colored liquid in a syringe. Close it down with the syringe piston and press it to remove the air from the volume of the syringe. We will see the liquid takes the shape of the syringe. Now we will do it for the gas using the smoke of the incense stick. Put the piston and cover the mouth of the syringe with the tip of your finger. We will start using the stoppers to close the mouth of every syringe. We can see for the solids, liquid and gas we have provided a stopper. Now we compress it harder to see whether the change of the chalk powder are compressed. We can't see any the liquids. Can it be compressed? It can't do the same. But in the gases, you see it can be compressed better than solids and liquids. You can provide extra force to see how dense the gases can be seen in the syringe. What we learn here is solids have a regular shape and closely packed molecules which doesn't allow us to compress further. Liquids have loosely packed molecules which allows little to compress but here you can't see with the muscle power. But in the case of gases, the molecules move in all direction at faster speed with large interspacing.